tonight on Live from the Theater Basement, an entertaining interview with Amanda Delan- Delano, longtime Theatricos volunteer and director of the next Theatricos main stage show, Native Gardens. Speaking on the challenges of transitioning a production to an outdoor venue as Theatricos looks to open their 2021 season tonight on Live. From the- Do good, be good. Is your company or nonprofit looking for a facilitator? Hire Sharon Tewksbury Bloom to facilitate virtual retreats, meetings, or team building. Email Sharon at connect at SharonSpeaks.com. Your company will be better with Do Good, Be Good. I'm your host, Angela Keith. Tonight's engaging interview is with Amanda Delano longtime Theatricos volunteer and director of the next main stage production, Native Gardens. She'll be talking about the challenges of bringing an indoor production to an outdoor venue as Theatricos reopens their 2021 season here on Live from the Theater Basement. Thank you, Angela, and welcome, Delano. How are you doing? Hello, I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. It's glad to have you on here tonight. Um, when we're talking about the show, Native Gardens, um, originally it's supposed to be an indoor play, correct? And, correct. And all yeah. that. And um, can you give just a little, just an idea of what's going on without giving the play away so we can get kind of set the stage for going outside? <laughs> yeah, so we have two couples who uh, they share a backyard fence and one of them has recently moved in. Um, the husband has invited his entire work over for a barbecue. So they approach their neighbors to see if they can replace the chain link fence in the backyard only to find that their property line actually extends into their neighbor's yard. Um, and that's where the whole conflict comes from. And it, you know, es- everything escalates from there. So it's, really the perfect show to have outdoors, but it's not what we had originally planned on. So, <laughs> so um, with that being inside, you know, you had the plan of having a full stage and, you know, the wings and all that. How are we making up for that? Um, so there were a lot of things we had to take into consideration. We can't just build a set out there and we can't transport a set every single weekend out there. It's just too much work and not, um, it would be volunteer heavy and it's just something we didn't want to do. So we had to kind of figure out a way that we could make this work without doing that. And it, we're fortunate that the Arboretum actually has a stage built that is two different levels. And so when we went out to look at that, we saw it and said, you know, this could be the set. We don't need to build the platform since we have this and we can w- make it work out so that we have these two separate areas and we can see the lives these two couples lead um, as distinct, but also how they're coming together and um, interfering with each other. That was a huge um, hurdle that once once that was figured out, it was, you know, a load off. And then, um, you know, wings, you always worry about wings. What are your actors going to do when they're off stage? And we've been very fortunate to have our, um, uh, Larry has offered to give us these pop-up tents that have sides so we can have some privacy for actors. They can be off stage and relaxing um, and not be visible to the audience. There are also, um, we've limited how many costume changes we're going to have uh, just for actors to be able to have that privacy and not feel uncomfortable when they're off stage because that's something we wanna ensure that all of our actors feel comfortable while they're performing. Now, Larry is um, the set builder, basically, our, the carpenter for the theater, correct? Yes, our technical director, yes. Yeah. Okay, and now um, just wanted to get that um, kind of clarified for our audience because it's like, okay, Larry is yeah. who? Um, but next, you know, here yeah, we are sorry, going it's, you know, you're Arboretum, around so long, you which just is a, an out. open space. I know, I know, it's crazy. Um, but with Larry, uh, well, without Larry, with with the set, uh, got a little mixed up here. Um, with the set being outside, 
And the stage really not designed for theater, but it's more designed for um, like a band, you know, like a band stage, small band stage, you know, individual acoustic music and, and things such as that. Um, and there's also no lighting. And so how, how are you going to be putting that together? Uh, so we are performing during the day. All our performances start at 2 p.m. We also have brought on uh, Sam Bradbury is going to be helping with our uh, as our technician for it to bring out speakers and make sure all the actors are miked so that they can be heard. That's a huge issue you run into when you're outdoors is making sure that the actors can be heard by the audience. So um, we have him to work with that, which is fantastic because he has a lot of experience with this. Um, you know, it's really set up for a lot of weddings that happen there. So size wise, it's not big, but it does create an intimacy that even though you can have a hundred people there watching, it looks like you're viewing into this world that the actors are a part of. Um, we've also taken advantage of it and we're going to be able to do an actual living garden out there instead of having to do fake flowers like we would have to do if we were at an indoor venue. So um, being able to do something like that where we can just create this whole feeling of a living garden, um, even though it's not at all made for a performance like a play, um, it's it's really going to be beneficial to us in the long run. Yeah, I, I've been out to that space before uh, for concerts um, and for other events. And uh, and so I, th I see it as being a great um, venue and the backdrop is fabulous. You have the picture of the peaks in the background and, and the fields behind the, uh, the, the Arboretum itself. You have a lot of um, nature area right behind it. Um, so you have that opportunity there as well. Um, and is there a possibility of moving it indoors and transferring it, transferring that into the indoor stage, or is it just going to mainly be outside for the whole performance? Um, it's been discussed, but nothing has been settled on for that. You know, we're primary focus right now is just having this out at the Arboretum. Um, one of the first things that I asked them when this whole thing came up was, what's the contingency plan if it rains? You know, this is taking place during monsoon season, and even though it's been a dry couple of years, we still want to plan for what if it rains. And immediately Chris came back, uh, she's the executive director out at the Arboretum, and she came back and said, you know, we have this tent that we use for weddings. And so that's our contingency plan. If it rains, we'll move everything underneath the tent. So um, we can, we have that option. So we don't need to think about moving indoors because of weather. Um, it's just, so that's what our plan is for right now is to just be out there. Yeah, there's a lot of things that uh, we don't usually think about when we're putting on a performance um, in a lot, you know, live theater. Uh, and so, yeah, we have that contingency plan. You have the weather. You have all kinds of things that, that get in the way, even wild animals possibly running across the stage like squirrels. So it'd be just like a regular um, yep. garden as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I find it, I find this it being a very unique experience, and I'm sure that there are people mm -hmm. elsewhere trying this out. I know um, uh, the Flagstaff Shakespeare Festival has done a few performances outdoors as well um, in the e afternoon as well, and uh, that has uh, turned out fairly well um, for the Shakespeare folks. Uh, so this is our first venture with uh, moving outdoors for theater. Yeah, I, I believe we've done it with theatric kids in the past, but we've never done a main stage out there. And, you know, it'll be a, it'll be really great for us because, you know, we can actually have a live audience and that's not something we would necessarily be able to do if we were doing this indoors. So, you know, there are so many things to think about, but, you know, it's great that we've seen Flag Shakes do this because we know the space can be used and we know that people want to watch theater outdoors. Um, so, you know, hopefully this will open the door for future productions out there from Theatricos. Yeah, that'd be great. Absolutely fantastic to have that happen. Um, well, our time is up, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, 10 minutes. Um, and uh, 
thank you so much for being our guest tonight here on Live from the Theater Basement. The Macmillan Bard Kitchen, now open. Macmillan is housed in the historic Bank Hotel building, built in 1886, the oldest standing building in historic downtown Flagstaff. Drink in the history. The Macmillan, number 2, Route 66, in historic downtown Flagstaff. We would like to thank Delano for taking the time to sit down with Jamie for this engaging interview. Thank you so much. Live from the theater basement, producers Jamie Sapis, Linda Sutera, engineer Matt Brewer, technician Ava Haynes, associate producers Virginia Brown, Joe Maniglia, John Propster, Michael Rulon, crew Noah Bessler, Sam Bradbury, Casey Garcia, Madison Hartson, Maline LaBerge, Justin Moscow, Jaden Roberts, Mariko Tenkumo Selwesson. Dramaturgy Theatrico's Artistic Committee. Play Curation Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase. Executive Producer Chris Barrow. Live from the theater basement, streaming live on Sunday evenings at 7.30 and available wherever you get your podcasts, is a production of Theatricos Theater Company in partnership with Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase and Deuteran Films. Theatricos Theater Company, Flagstaff, Arizona, is the theater company of Northern Arizona and the Grand Canyon. Embracing the spirit of Broadway with shows like the hilarious musical Little Shop of Horrors and the heartwarming Christmas show Miracle on 34th Street. We are looking forward as Theatricos reopens with Native Gardens on July 24th being performed live at the Flagstaff Arboretum. Auditions are May 2nd and 3rd. Please contact theater at theatricos.com for more information. Live from the Theater Basement, the weekly podcast streaming show from Theatrico's Theater Company, alternates between 10-minute short plays and interviews with Arizona arts leaders. If you are a listener or viewer, have input, we'd love to hear from you. Email us at theater at theatricos.com. Live from the Theater Basement, streaming live on Sunday evenings at 7.30 p.m. and available wherever you get your podcasts is funded in part by Flagstaff Arts Cancel, Hashtag Creative Flagstaff and Arizona Community Foundation. Additional funding from Arizona Commission on the Arts, Flagstaff 365, BBB Revenue of the City of Flagstaff, Calf Country Radio, and patrons of the arts like you. Thank you so much for joining us. We're live from the theater basement. This is Theatricos. Coming up next week on Live from the Theater Basement, Flagstaff musician Steve Willis and writer Ann Cummins dig into family history to tell the love story of Uncle Hick and Aunt Pearl. Hick, a World War I vet, and Pearl, the darling of Moundsville, West Virginia, overcome trouble on the home front, a bar room knifing, yellow fever, to find lifelong love. Thanks again for tuning in for Live from the Theater Basement.